welcome to java forum now we are going to see how to install and configure red hat enterprise linux 8.3 on vmware workstation 16 so now i am creating one new virtual machine i am choosing the typical installation so installer disk image i am selecting red hat enterprise linux uh, 8.3 iso file which i already downloaded from uh, Red Hat website. So you need to register to Red Hat website in order to download this uh, ISO file. So you can see that Red Hat Linux has got discovered, and I am choosing install the operating system later. Next, I am choosing Red Hat Enterprise Linux 864 bit from the drop down list. Next, I am giving one name to this virtual mission. Next, I am allocating some hard disk space and I am storing it as a single file. So, you can see that this is a summary of hardware. Uh, memory, I am going to allocate some memory and also CPU core. For CPU core, I am allocating. Uh, virtualization engine parameters, you can choose optionally if you want. CD, DVD, I am Browsing the Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8 uh, 8.3 ISO file. So network adapter will be NAT so that it can be connected to the internet. So everything is fine here. Uh, you can see that Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.3 virtual machine has got created. Now I am going to power on this uh, virtual machine. So make sure that you are connected to the internet so that all the VMware tools for Linux uh, will be downloaded and installed. So if you use VMware for first time, you can see it will prompt to download and install a VMware tool for Linux. So you can see that the installation screen arrived. Uh, English will be the default language. So make sure that VMware tools for Linux is got installed. So which will fix 99.99% uh, .99 of uh, guest edition problems. So time and date uh, I'm selecting in the location. Uh, I am providing the root password. Root will be the administrator. So next I am creating the login user and also providing password to the login user. So software selection will be a uh, server with guy. So next I am selecting the virtual hard disk. So server with guy is selected, uh, additional software you can install if you want. So click the button begin installation so it will install all the RPM files. So you can see that uh, installation is got completed. So I am going to reboot this uh, machine. So after reboot uh, accept the license agreement. So if you have a valid username and password, you can subscribe to subscription manager of Red Hat. So click the button finish configuration. So login screen had arrived. Let me login now.
yes uh, i have logged into this uh, red dot enterprise linux 8 so you can see that the screen resolution is uh, adjusted automatically which means uh, vmware tools for linux installed successfully so this is the symptom So anyway, I'm checking the display. Yes, you can see that uh, it is automatically adjusted. Screen resolution is at adjusted automatically according to my monitor. So now I'm opening the terminal to check whether uh, VMware tools are installed or not. Yes, it's installed. So this is the command to check uh, VMware tool version for uh, Linux. VMware iPhone toolbox iPhone CMD iPhone V. So this is the VMware tool version for Linux. So now I am executing some commands and next I am going to copy paste uh, this terminal output to the Windows host machine to check the copy uh, copy paste feature. So I am copying this uh, and I am going to paste in windows host yes i can able to paste from red dot enterprise linux 8 virtual machine to windows host machine now i am typing some letter in windows host and going to paste in red dot enterprise linux 8 vm yes so copy paste uh, feature is uh, working fine so red dot enterprise linux 8 installation on vmware workstation 16 is successful make sure that you have connected to the internet so that all the VMware tool components will be downloaded and installed 